Now, construction of a genomic library in cosmids. Cosmids are a little bit different. They are modified vectors. As you can see here, this is a cosmid vector. So again, it is having the cos sites. But now, this cosmid is having a MCS or multiple cloning site. And also, it is having an ampicillin resistant uh, region. Because we need to plate them so that we can drag a screen out our particular desired product. For that, we must have this ampicillin resistant region inside this cosmid. Now, the similar procedure, we cleave our chromosomal DNA. Uh, with par partial digestion after partially digest uh, the fragments are looking like 35 to 45 kb and we know cosmids are pretty good at packaging this particular size of the seg segments then what we'll do again they are having cos sites so that means they are again producing concatemars with a uh, different regions of our interest and very less uh, small segment of the region as you can see this black colored regions are the actual genomic part of the cosmids but rest of the parts, these colorful regions are of our desired gene, gene of interest. So during the procedure, and this, this, uh, vertical, this vertical green lines are denoting the cost sites. So after all this happens, what, what, what is going on, packaging will be done from one cost site to another cost site. And they will be packaged into the fudge, inside the fudge cell, right? So then we get a multiple uh, fudge having different segments of the gene of our interest. Then we can take this phage and infect bacteria. Here the bacteria is E. coli. We infect the E. coli cell here. After infecting them, we transfer, uh, transform our the genetic material into inside the cell of the E. coli. Okay, so that is how we can construct a genomic library with cause.